just tell us kind of how this how this developed, how this came about, how long you were talking to the Jets and stuff. Yeah, about about a week. Um, yeah, just a couple phone calls back and forth. Um, got here yesterday, and uh, so far so good. Now that you're you're kind of into the playbook a little bit, I mean, is it familiar or similar to anything you've done before in your career? Yeah, I would say uh, a couple offenses, but a lot a lot of carryover from last year with uh, Coach Getzey in Chicago. So, um, not not the, not exactly the same, but a good bit of carryover for sure. So, is, is the verbiage basically the biggest challenge to learn right now? Or? Yeah, some different things here and there, um, but uh, it's not my first time learning a new system, so. I think as a backup quarterback, those are some of the things you get used to pretty quickly. What's it, uh, it's it like being back here for you? Uh, weird. Yeah, very weird. But uh, good to see some familiar faces. Uh, seeing Gus and Vito in the equipment room and uh, some other people around the building. It's been cool. When, I mean, that has to be like a specific time, but about how long will it take you to pick up this offense where you feel like, okay, I'm pretty comfortable in this? Can it happen in a week, two weeks? Uh, tough to say. You know, I, I couldn't give you, a, you know, a week or two weeks. Um, you know, I think, like I said, as a backup quarterback in this league, it's kind of your challenge is how fast you can pick things up. And uh, I'm anxious to get started and get the verbiage, get to know my teammates a little bit. So um, definitely not overnight. How do you view the situation you're coming into here, especially at the quarterback position? Yeah, it's a good room. Uh, I'm familiar with uh, Coach Downing. We've crossed over a couple times. So uh, it's cool to have that relationship. It's a great room. Um, and those guys have a good time in there, I can tell. I'm just kind of a fly on the wall right now. But uh, looking forward to uh, getting to know these guys a little bit and uh, really just trying to be the best teammate I can for Zach, for Tim, all these guys, really. Did you view this as an opportunity where you might have a chance to play? Uh, again, I didn't have a lot of, a lot of expectations. Um, yeah, no promises were given or anything like that. Um, you know, these guys had two quarterbacks. They needed a third quarterback. Um, I had some good conversations and... Uh, here I am, so I'm excited to get to work. What, Trevor, what have you been doing since in the training camp in Cincinnati? Just been working out on your own? Or? Working out. Yeah, I got three little kids at home. I've been taking care of them. My wife's been getting me to work. Um, but yeah, working out, throwing. Um, you know, I'd be somewhere at some point. Uh, it's just a matter of when, so I'm staying ready. So, what kind of workouts were you doing to try to just stay in shape? Uh, everything. I mean, movement, a lot of movement stuff, right? You want to keep your legs uh, and throwing. Uh, so as a quarterback, obviously the things that I, I know I'm going to have to jump in and be able to do right away, those are kind of the things I've been doing the last month. You mentioned being the best teammate that you can for Zach right now. What does that mean to you? Yeah, being a resource for him. You know, it's a lot of times uh, uh, starting quarterback has a lot going on. Uh, he's getting great coaching, I know that. So um, whatever I can do to help him, right, played a few games in the league. So, um, you know, maybe I'm a, I offer a different perspective on some things. But, again, Right now, I'm just just a fly on the wall in there and trying to learn learn these guys, learn everything as quickly as I can. What are your initial thoughts just about Nate Hackett and also Robin Sala? Oh, awesome. Hack is the man. Um, Sala is great. I've heard nothing but good things around the league talking to guys. Uh, so that was kind of exciting for me, getting a chance to play for, for Coach Sala. And uh, these are sharp guys, too, really smart. Um, so I'm excited to learn a lot of ball here. Trevor, it's not exactly the same, but you stepped in for a legend in Denver, right? And Zach's kind of taken, stepping in for Aaron, getting injured here. You know what that pressure is like. Can you, can you kind of help him in that regard, you think, of just kind of the outside noise and everything that he's hearing right now? You know, I think Zach's, uh, Zach gets it. He, he knows, I think. There's no pressure like the pressure you put on yourself. So um, Zach's wired the right way, it seems. You know, still getting to know him, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think you think about that. I think Zach is, is doing a good job. Uh, for me, it was I was not going to try to be Peyton Manning, right? I was going to try to be Trevor Simeon. 